no one talks about the pressure that comes with being a birthday celebrant enough funny enough that day you shouldn't feel any like pressure at all but there's just some pressure that we kind of put on ourselves trying to make the the day perfect guys welcome back to my channel i know you guys did not hear from me last week what even happened what i didn't hear from me on sunday i don't even know i just did not have the time to film any video throughout last week my apologies i'm trying 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 to be consistent anyways it's my birthday today no one talks about the pressure that comes with being a birthday celebrant enough. Funny enough, that day you shouldn't feel any like pressure at all. But there's just some pressure that we kind of put on ourselves. Trying to make the, the day perfect. Trying to um incorporate activities that would involve your friends your loved ones and your well wishes and in the midst of all these things trying to make it perfect trying to get it right we kind of um lose sight of what really matters which is you and you, you tend to see yourself um getting sad over things especially when it's not going the way you want it to go i for one i i don't know if i should say i am now out of that space but ever since my birthday plans started um, coming up i was enthusiastic i was looking forward to making plans but i mean sometimes you make plans and they don't work out so it's just one of those things just part of life but i really wish that my birthday would have been better than it is right now i'm just trying to be happy i missed all of these things i missed all these troubles look at that i'm looking like this i haven't actually showered but i'm going to shower soon and head out and show you and just carry along for how my birthday it's gonna be like and um so yeah i don't know if i'm the only one that looks forward to my birthdays not because i have anything planned but i just look forward to my birthdays because i feel like it's one day where i get to be overjoyed and a lot of things have just happened that has like made me want to say oh should this birthday even happen should i have just allowed this day to move past like every regular day and then i was and then i have this friend who's just been trying to like cheer me up ginger me say cheesy it's your birthday don't allow anything to weigh you down don't allow anything to do this don't allow anything to do that try and be happy don't worry i did for you that kind of thing and i won't lie shaking off that feeling isn't easy and hasn't been easy for me but i want to make a conscious effort to shake that feeling off and i'm going to do that today fingers crossed so i will be going out today to get some makeup products and i'll just um, bring you guys along with me to see what i'll be getting since i've been here in the uk in fact, before I come, came to the UK, I can't count the last time. I can't say the last time eyebrows touched my brow, eyebrow pencil touched my brows. So I've decided to, I wouldn't say, I won't call it, I won't, uh, I don't know if I should say it, spoil myself. But I've just decided to go to the um, drugstore to get a couple of makeup products just so that I could make up, wear makeup for today or tomorrow or any other day as the case may be so yeah 
I will shower in a bit and then get dressed and show you my shopping outfit. <laughs> so, so that call, uh, you guys will come along with me to shop for this makeup products and just look around the city and see what the city is about. I know most of these videos I've been doing have been inside the house, but today you all will be coming out with me to see Nottingham City Centre alongside shopping for my makeup products okay guys so um let's get to it so i am all set and ready to go i just um laid my edges and then i used this scarf to hold it down i think it's been five minutes so i'll take it off and then just uh Just leave my hair down like this and then and then off I go. Yes, I'm gonna wear a jacket over this of course because it's cold season and I'm very prone to cold so I need to protect myself. So yeah, I said I was going to get the makeup things, I'm going to do a little food shopping so that I could cook for my birthday. Who does her birthday preparations by herself? It's it's crazy. It's crazy. I mean, I never thought I would be doing this, but it is what it is, I guess. So many it is what it is in this video. <laughs> but yeah, come with me to go and get my makeup products. Hopefully, I. I'm able to get something and also to get the food stuff that I'll be using to prepare the food for my birthday. I'll see you guys in a bit. So I have my fur jacket on for the weather. And um yeah, I'll be wearing I have I have already applied my moisturizer. I use simple face moisturizer. I've been using it for a couple of months now. I know back in Nigeria I was using it and then I stopped at some point. Not because of anything. I think it's because like keeping up with makeup or with um face face what they call those things again. Face maintenance. It shy a lot of money and lots of work. So I stopped at a point and then when I came to the UK I started all over again. And I think my face has been really doing well with the moisturizer and then for my perfume i would be using sauna mosk give me a moment so for my perfume i will be wearing this perfume let me just open it for you the bottle is not anything fancy it's just a regular spare bottle but the fragrance is very nice I don't know if you can see it. it's victory so i'll just spray this and then off I go. So I am at the bus stop now and the bus will be here in I think four minutes. And where I'm going to is called Superdrop. It's actually at the city center. And where I'm now, I'll just take a bus all the way to city center and then find my way to Superdrop and get myself on the bus. So come along with me, guys. So I have just got to get a bus. Probably won't get me. Okay. Yeah, come on. Uh, <laughs> hey guys, so I somehow forgot I was supposed to be vlogging and I did not film some part of my day but uh, I went to get the makeup like I said, I'll just show you guys the makeup I got. 
then I am at Tesco now to get chicken, um, peppers, cabbage, and uh, salad cream, and baked beans. So I'm gonna be making jollof fries. Oh yeah, and oil. I'm gonna be making jollof fries for my birthday. I've never seen a birthday girl that has been as stressed as I am today. I mean, I should be. I should have my legs crossed on the table while someone does all of this running around for me. Unfortunately, this is what it is. Okay, so I have my cabbage for how much? 80p. So I'm kind of having guests over, sorry. I'm kind of having guests over. So when I'm buying two pounds sixty chicken that comes with just four pieces. I'll just go for drumsticks that cost about four forty five. So this quite big and it's enough. It should be enough. So I have just gone with the drumsticks. I told you about that. I was going to get some mine and that's for the post. Oh man, that's past the pound. That's Tesco mine. So, I'm done with my shopping. Oh my god, it's so cold outside. Ooh. Oh! Oh! I got a lot of things. I don't know if I anticipated this much things, but it's a lot. <laughs> and I have the option of walking home or taking a bus. I have chosen to take a bus because the bus will take me to the front of my house. So yeah, I'm walking to the bus stop now. So I'm at a bus stop. And the bus is going to take two minutes to get here. And in less than five minutes, I should be in front of my house. I couldn't imagine carrying all these things to walk home because I would be slow. It would take me longer to get home if I was to walk home as opposed to taking this bus. So thank God. The bus stop is just right in front of my house. Imagine I'm going to get home and then start cooking. Hmm. I've never seen someone who, who is doing birthday and, and has to do all of this as well. It's one of those things, I guess. Happy birthday to me once again. This should be my 521. Okay, my my birthday is still very much active until 12 midnight. So yeah. Can't wait to start cooking and get it over and done with. Hi guys, um, so I'm back home. I have been back home for a long time and I was supposed to film my cooking process. But I'm not done cooking. I'm not making the rice. I'm not making the chicken. So, um, because I live in a shared house, what that means is I don't get to have the monopoly of the kitchen. So while I was cooking, other people were using the kitchen as well. I just had to force filming. But now everyone has gone and just need to so just making cold stuff.
So I'll not proceed to so I'll not proceed to break things the carrot. I mean, I think everyone everyone knows how to do coleslaw. So there's no specific technique to doing coleslaw. It's just me showing you how I prepare for or what I was up to for my breakfast. You put your carrot on the cabbage. So I want to layer it. I'm just taking out half of the cabbage and then I will wait all of this over this cabbage. Put the new cabbage and then wait. Just so we have some decorative, some ceramic. So I have just layered the other cabbage. If you can see, there's carrots on that cabbage, and this will be the last carrot. And our whole store is semi done. I don't know what the law is about putting your cream in on your coleslaw and putting it in the fridge, which will make it um, spoil. I don't know the rule or the law, but it's just like um, it's just something I've grown up to know that you don't put coleslaw in the fridge with cream because it's gonna spoil. So rather than putting your cream, you just keep your cream aside and just put your already grated and chopped cabbage and carrots in the fridge without the cream and then when you're ready to eat it you take out your veggies take out the quantity you need and then put the cream in one and then you mix it all up and then you eat it Now our coleslaw is ready. You can see how this fully looks. So you've got one layer of cabbage, carrots, cabbage, and carrots. So when you're dishing it out to mix the quantity you need to look beautiful. And okay. So now the next thing is to just clean up my workstation and I wouldn't be needing this anymore, or maybe I'm. Maybe it's this, but this isn't because this is the store. So for this carrot, I could choose to eat it. It's actually really sweet, which is good. But sometimes the carrot are not very sweet, and this is the sweet carrot. So it's not going to waste. It's going to my stomach. But for the rest of the things, I'm going to do this. Rather than dusting all of this to the floor, I dust it onto the tray. I'm not teaching you how to clean. I'm just showing you my process on how I tidy up after I'm done. <laughs> so I'm putting it in my hand to take out what my hand can take out. I'm going with my Okay, it. it still beats me that it's my birthday today and I'm having to do all this cooking. Okay. So, sorry, I'm not a person. If you really want to know why I'm not okay, please feel free to ask in the comment section. Mm -hmm. And I will tell you in the next video. So guys, I'm actually done cooking. Now, we're gonna return this back to the fridge. And then we'll cut off. And I'm done eating this too. So, I'm my chicken, poster, and very soon, you're going to see the almighty jollof. You know when? We tend to underestimate how good you are. 
I'm one to always underestimate myself. And it's all right, sorry. I want to always underestimate myself. But I have finished cooking jollof rice. It's my birthday rice. I cooked my birthday rice. Just like me cooking rice on my for my wedding. But it's all right. I'm not offended. I will not be offended. So Please. Oh my dear, Jollof Rice. <laughs> Can you all see the gorgeousness? I mean, I'm no chef, but I know if you have a taste of this rice, you bite your finger. I don't mean to toot my own horn, but people that have tasted will testify. And this rice is from chops. I'll just take it back to the corner. It's not for display yet. So, so guys, this is like a summary of how my birthday went, how I spent my birthday. Oh no, I missed one important part the makeup. Yeah. You will see it shortly. So stay tuned. Hi guys. So I am done cooking. As you could see, I'm back in my room and on my bed. It's really cold outside. So I said I was going to show you the makeup things I got. So I went makeup shopping and I went to super drug. So I'll just call it like a makeup haul. So I got this brush, makeup brush set, and this is what it looks like. It's really beautiful. I can't wait to start using it. And then I got this revolution. Uh, the everything makeup starter kit so in here I've got um, a couple of things that I don't have the strength to unbox really <laughs> but yeah I've got some things here unfortunately in here there isn't any um, brow pencil and I'm a brow pencil girl so I probably will have to buy that like separate and then I got myself a NYX foundation in um, the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop foundation. I got the golden shade. If you can see it, golden shade. And then I got Can't Stop Won't Stop concealer in walnut. Walnut and then um, warm honey yeah so i can't wait to start using this it's been a while since i wore makeup so yeah uh if you've watched through my videos if you've joined with me to see how i spent my birthday thank you so much for watching and i hope you enjoyed watching please feel free to leave a thumbs up for me turn on your post notification bell also hit the subscribe button so that when i post more videos like this you would get my notification okay thank you guys i'll see you in my next video bye